financial education is essential, particularly in these times of instability. Since the education system is unwilling to teach the truth, individuals search for alternative viewpoints in order to find the answers. There are countless indicators which can assist in the understanding of the global economy. We watch these as the days and the weeks go by in order to recalibrate our direction. Keep a close eye on the health of the financial system to truly understand how everything will play out. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. Today we will discuss which indicators should you look at. I'm going to give you all the sites that are really good, really informative for their own reasons. The ones I go to personally, I'll give you the links. They will be in the description of this video. I will tell you straight off that this is not a comprehensive list. These are just some of them, very, very important ones. In fact, I'll move through them quickly. There's no sense in me getting into too much detail here. This is what you need to look at the Fed. We obviously have some serious problems with the Fed and their criminality, but let's look at the Federal Reserve's website. This happens to be the St. Louis Fed, very important website, and let's get into just some of the indicators I like to look at. The effective federal funds rate. These are basically interest rates. This one here determines not just the interest rates that the commercial banks are playing with, but actually has an effect on the whole globe and what they're doing, all the other central banks. So this is a very, very key indicator, effective federal funds rate. Look at this, 1980 hits about 20%, and then today, of course, near 0%. So very important to look at. The civilian labor force participation rate. This is another one that I've always shown you. And essentially what we see here is that it's at decades low at this time. When you look at this, you can see how many people are actually employed. That's what's important. You don't want to look at the unemployment rate. And the reason is because of the calculations they use manipulate the true scenarios. The civilian labor force participation rate is more accurate. Of course, this shows people who are temporarily employed. It doesn't show you the whole picture, but it gives you a better picture than the unemployment rate provided to us by the BLS. Look at this here, the real median household income and you can see this right here look at 2000 and then compare that to today as you can see people not doing as well as they once were and this is one good indicator of that personal savings rates people aren't saving any money these days and that has been declining no coincidence since the interest rates have been declining as well. People just don't save money these days. They are using as much debt as they possibly can. All Federal Reserve Bank's total assets. Essentially, we're looking at the balance sheet of the Federal Reserve. And you can see how it's getting closer and closer to $5 trillion, And this does not include all of the backdoor deals that we've seen over the years. But again, very important to look at just to see this. And the reason why I really like this here is that we can measure this directly, correlated directly with the SMP. You can see how this really, if you put the SMP beside it or on top of it, you see how very accurate these two charts are and of course it fluctuates around but for the most part they match each other quite well if you want some real statistics you need to check out shadow stats john williams does an excellent job of recalculating all of the statistics as they should be 
So they have different things like the CPI, you're looking at interest rates, inflation rates, unemployment, everything else. He has them all here. He has a you know a whole report if you want to get that. I've read that. Excellent report. Very detailed, very dry. Depends on what you're into. But of course, if you want the truth, this is an excellent place to go check that out. One of them, as I said, was inflation. This happens to be a chart from my book where I use the shadow stats numbers. And you can see when you compare the two for inflation, as an example, you get a very different picture. And this happens to be a few years old now, but look at this for yourself on the shadow stats website. The Baltic dry index is a very important indicator. In fact, I find this to be equal to the imports and exports of any particular country. This is the way I like to look at it. When you look at the Baltic Dry Index, of course, it's showing you at a high. If you just look at this within the last month, hey, it's doing well. But when you look at this picture over the last five years, you start to realize, oh, it hasn't been doing well. And in fact, this number here is near an all-time low. Shipping is not doing well. You could talk to people in the industry as a whole, and the shipping is really suffering at this time in particular. So if you want to know about shipping, if you want to know about imports and exports, definitely look about look up those. Look at the companies who do shipping. But then you have to look at the Baltic Dry Index as well. Vacancies and home ownership, obviously very important to look at this. This happens to be out of the US, but whatever country you're in, just type the name of the country and type in vacancies or home ownership, get those statistics. We wanna know how many people are renting. We wanna know how many vacant homes there are. We wanna know what percentage of people are buying homes at this time. Building permits, obviously another one that's important too, because you can see our new buildings coming up at this time. You need to know how many buildings to look forward to in the future. You need to get your permits, obviously, before the construction take place. So this is a way to sort of have that crystal ball and look into the future of housing, of commercial buildings, of everything else. One of the best websites in the world is the Drudge Report. Drudge Report gives you a lot of information every single day. I highly recommend that you check this out. If you don't know about it already, sometimes they get nearly a billion views in a single month. This is very, very good to just to condense a whole bunch of information. It links you off into different websites. Really good websites here. Zero Hedge is one of the best financial websites in the world. I don't necessarily read every single article, but I like to check it out regularly. They get into a lot of the technical analysis, which I do cover here on the channel occasionally. I personally don't like to get too detailed on that, but a lot of people love the charts and charts are very, very telling. This is one place that you definitely want to check out. And lastly, I just wanted to mention CNS News. I don't like all of their articles necessarily, but I do like when they get into covering information every single month. They cover all the different numbers, whether that's unemployment, whether that's inflation or anything else. This is definitely one of those websites that will write articles about it, cover the information as they come out. So they get the government numbers and they report on them. So it's it's a good website overall for that. These are some of the indicators, again, not a comprehensive list, but this is important to get into because this will allow you to judge the economy for yourself and not have to rely on mainstream media and not have to rely on all of the financial news that we get, the little tidbits that we get in the financial and mainstream medias so you can empower yourself. That is my goal. That's why I have an e-course. The e-course is available for free for everyone where they can just learn about the financial system, the basics, what are stocks, what are bonds, how does the GDP work, what is this and that. Well, that's what the e-course is for and I hope that I'm empowering you to basically do this for yourself and learn how to protect your savings. If you found this video informative, please give me a thumbs up. 
You can check out the e-course at themoneygps.com slash free e-course. And that will get you right there where you can see all the videos. You can also see it on my YouTube channel. So just check out The Money GPS in YouTube and head over, scroll down, and you'll see where it says The Money GPS e-course and all of the videos are on there as well. Last but not least, if you found this video informative, you will definitely find my book, The Money GPS, even more informative. If you head over to Amazon, they have a look inside feature, which will allow you to flip through the pages of the book and see if you like it. Take care.